Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online, where we are continuing our adventures in Morrowind. Next phase, we have to enter Vivix Palace. So, we right off the bat are going to head towards Vivix City, which is actually following the road this way. <clears throat> could be uh, could be interesting. And uh, the uh, the old game did send you usually to to Balmora first. Um, and uh, only to Vivic City quite a little bit later. So this is definitely a big difference, but it's already coming into view, so we are all good. Uh, if I do find something to uh, to shoot at, we'll, uh, we'll do that, because I do want to get my skills up a little bit as well. What's that? A Cliff Strider. You know what? Let's give that a try. See how he likes some of uh, these guys. And now I also took this wall um, so this uh, staff ability which uh, should slow them down uh, when you're using frost that should be pretty interesting we'll take that thank you and that's another threat taken care of and here will be the entrance towards vivek city uh, very iconic as well oh but so much more detail this is actually worth the little detour uh, the silt striders uh, you could take a silt strider from Sedanane to Balmora um, if you wanted to uh, if you managed to grab a little bit of gold so that's actually uh, quite uh, quite an upgrade in graphics there they do look like awesome bugs now so moving on there's lots of quests that we could take this will probably be the hub when it comes to Morrowind I suspect Let's take a look here. Vivic City Way Shrine. That's what we want, of course. And there you go. That's what you should remember. Uh, you've got the whole city that's actually being built at the moment uh, on the water, which is really, really cool. So that's a lot of bears here from the wardens. I hope that I can get my own pretty soon. And we can actually go over this small dock here. And then get into Vivek City itself, where we have the guards. Let's see what they look like. They got a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, typical helmets with the long back here uh, for Morrowind. Very cool and, and a lot of bug-like features there. Yeah, looks pretty awesome. Uh, let's see where we actually have to go and where we are. So, yeah, that's where the traders are. And we actually have to go all the way to the temple or the palace up there at the back and yeah this was Vivek I never spent a lot of time in Vivek when I played um, Morrowind back in the day uh, I had a couple of, of nice grind spots somewhere else that I could use to level up and uh, become super powerful because there's it's one thing uh, people say that uh, of course the graphics and everything in, in Oblivion and Skyrim are so much better than in Morrowind but the enchantment system uh, allowed you to do some of that really crazy stuff in Morrowind. I did absolutely love that as well. He's taking off. Praise Vivek. Praise Vivek. And there are the armatures in glass armor. And that looks really cool. Let's enter Vivek's palace. Let's see what's next. There he is. The living god Vivek himself. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek. We don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness. And this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. The old Step man forward, friend of Lavu. Doesn't and like us. Speak. Okay. Let's talk to Vivek. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? What kind of help do you need? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Okay, we can do that. Good. I need assistance to investigate 
A strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. Um, when I first arrived, I saw a vision of Azura. Oh, so we should have stayed there for that vision. Let's, let's, uh... The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura. Though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Was what the ancestor said helpful? Levul's ancestor assured me that a source of power remains safe. As for the rest, let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters, hence the need for the divination ritual. Okay, but I don't think uh, the Archcanon wants to help me. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon. But he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say. And I say we need your assistance. Find the Archcanon in his office. And he'll tell you how to proceed. Okay. Goodbye, Lord Vivek. Living God of the Tribunal. Like one of the, of the more powerful people that you can uh, encounter. So it's pretty cool. And... So now his office is here. That's <laughs> that's definitely a pretty nice spot right at the entrance of Vivix Palace there. So let's go down. This gives you a little bit of a view as well. Here is Vivix City with the Red Mountain in the background. And over there we've got ports, constructions happening. Really cool. Let's see here. Okay, let's talk to him. Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you. But who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? He needs to perform a divination ritual. Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. All right, I'm listening. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction and tell the overseer that Lord Vivek requires the blessing stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. Okay, I'll go to the unfinished ziggurat, get the Blessing Stone, and meet you at Vivek's palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch canon of a living god or anything. What's a Blessing Stone? Ah, oh, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The Blessing Stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone oh, to power okay. the divination ritual. That's pretty cool. Why does he need if one? If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. Now what does he hope to learn here? Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. All right. Sounds good to me. We are going to keep going. You could really delve into more and more background information, but let's see if we can actually find this stone talk to overseer Shiralas. Shiralas. Uh, let's uh, sprint ahead and then a ziggurat under construction so one of the um, platforms basically okay 
and over there right so there's actually more of them under construction Vivek City under construction when you enter here in Morrowind it's completely finished the ordinators uh, and the guards have golden armor if I remember correctly so this is definitely different and that doesn't look too good we've got some dead bodies over here and we could start other quests as well but I, I think I want to focus on a single quest or a single quest line for now so let's talk to the overseer this project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. So I need to borrow your blessing stone. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I, but I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Arch Cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Uh, Lord Vivek really needs it. Lord Vivek? Why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. All right, we'll do that. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the Consecration Chamber before the next shift or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Okay, not sure why you guys need divine power to build up a structure, but let's see what's happening over here. These guys are... Well, I'm hoping that they're sleeping. I just sort of doubt it. What's happening here? Clearing some debris. Ah, and there we go. There's Thank actually you. someone. I'll go tell the overseer what you That's did. That's pretty cool. Can such suffering exist? So definitely, yeah, accidents happening, people dying, which is not good. More wounded people. Let's see if we can get this guy out. I thought I was gonna die under there. Thanks for saving me. And then here a Kachit. <laughs> Wounded at the knee. Pretty cool. Uh, retrieve the Blessing Stone. Oh, we just have to follow up here. And Blessing Stone. Gotcha. Talk to the Archon. Which means that I have to go all the way back, I think. Okay. That's, that's really strange uh, to see lots of um, bad stuff happening right at the doorstep of a living god, but seems to be the case. Let's take the, the left side of this one. Of course, we've got big mushrooms growing here as well. That's typical of, of Vardenfell and Morrowind as well. This looks pretty cool. Again, with uh, the nice armor. I would like that, actually. I think that looks pretty cool. And we have to go back up to the palace. Let's see if we can actually hold that divination ritual. Oh, there would be another way shrine. Is it far away? Uh, it's up there somehow. Okay, or in here maybe? No, oh, up here, I think. Let's see if I can grab that. Could be helpful. To get back more quickly to Vivek's temple. Although we're going to try to limit the uh, the, the fast traveling, I think. That's an interesting costume. Praise Vivek. Praise Vivek indeed. Let's go say hello. See what happens next. The old man. The outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the tribunal. Did you bring the blessing stone? Of course. Stand over there. In Canon Level's absence, you will form the third corner of our ritual triangle. When you're ready, place the blessing stone and we'll begin the ritual. Okay. So, let's start the divination and see what happens.
me, the old man, and a guard. So there it goes. Hear the words of the warrior poet and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashland A clockwork mage. Cool. A Daedric cultist. Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Okay, let's talk to Vivek. Maybe he can tell us more, although he likes to talk in riddles. Between the cryptic warnings of the ancestor spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. I should write that down. Something went wrong during the ritual. Did you learn what you had hoped? We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something. At least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no. Not as much as I hoped. But there were images in the ritual. Images that suggest avenues to investigate. Riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Yeah, he and his rich uh, and his uh, riddles. I don't really understand, Lord Vivek. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service. As I have written. So thank you. Okay. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. So you're losing divine energy. How the hell is that possible? To quote my own words as the warrior poet. No lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Okay. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you and learn what you can. Okay, we'll do that. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment. But the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Okay. Yes. While Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the tribunal. And recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow mindedness. Uh. What does the rest of the tribunal think about all this? They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity. But so far. I am the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. Almalexia hoards her energy and has barricaded her temple against attack. As for Sotha Seal... Yeah? My brother travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time. But I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. Funny. He always wanted to discover the limits of our divinity. Perhaps I will solve that mystery for him. And uh, why isn't this natural? At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, the more it feels like an attack against my person. Besides, the ancestor spirit confirmed that an ancient enemy was to blame. We just need to determine who before... Before what? Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. 
Consult with Archcanon Tarvis and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what might have been. Okay, we will do that. We'll also switch stuff, equip. Um, let's see. Attribute points, I can do two more. I'll take a bit of magic and a bit of health. Like that. And I will quickly end by talking to the Arch Cannon. And uh, see what... Uh, where he'll send us off to next. So right away going with pretty much the highest stakes. I'm not sure if that's really the way to go with a story like that. But um, I guess uh, these days you need to entertain people. So right off the bat a living god is in trouble. Uh, let's see what he has to say. I performed that ritual countless times and it never exploded in my face before. If I discover that you sabotage the divination... No. I shouldn't take my failure out on you. It's not your fault that things are... difficult. Because of his loss of power... What do you know about... Lord Vivek told you? Of course he did. It's his prerogative, I suppose. You must swear to keep this secret, though. There would be panic in the streets if the people believed one of the tribunal was incapacitated. So, need any help? It's true. I'm much better at scholarly pursuits than field work. And the ritual wasn't a total failure. It confirmed three locations from my earlier studies. Balmara, Aldrin, and Berazar's Tower. I need you to investigate each of these sites. Okay, we'll do that. Haven't you left yet? The sites at Balmer, Aldrin, and Barrelzal's Tower aren't going to investigate themselves. Gotcha. So we're not going to bother him too much anymore. He's got enough on his mind. Let's uh, see on the map where we have to go next. Um, hmm. Can I get out of here? Zoom out. Okay, not this way. I guess then we'll have to try to get out of the entire city. I'm sure that there is a shortcut to go straight to the world map itself, but... As thunder approaches... Yeah, looks like a rainstorm or something like that is approaching. We are going to take a look at the direction we have to take. Uh, Balmora, I do remember that. From... Uh, from the old Morrowind and what's the other one? Aldrun, I remember that as well, but Bal uh, Barils or Stower, I'm not sure. So. Let's see if we can get off here. Yeah, that brings us out into the rest of the land, guard tower, more docks, so this is obviously the capital and let's take a look at the map now. So uh, we have to investigate here in Balmora, this is Aldrun, uh, I'm not really sure what was over there and then all the way over here we've got Berylzar's tower. So first thing we'll do is that we'll head towards Balmora. Next, uh, or Balmora as it's apparently pronounced. After that, we'll head towards Aldrun and then we'll see if we can uh, find our way towards the tower. For now, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.